Alfred Wallace was a natural scientist and a contemporary of Darwin who came to similar conclusions. The dividing line named after him separates the fauna of Asia from that of Australia and can be explained through the story of the Bornean or Sumatran rhinoceros. The lines of latitude and longitude are amongst the invisible dividing lines. The starting point for the degrees of longitude is the zero degree, which conventionally runs through the Royal Observatory of Greenwich. Nobody can see it, and yet there it is. There is another line in Indonesia, which runs among many larger and smaller islands. At first, nobody noticed it, which is no surprise since it is also invisible, just like the equator. The islanders were living their lives there, fishing, until one day a natural scientist called Alfred Russell Wallace visited them. Yes, that's him. Of course, when he discovered the line, he was younger. He probably looked something more like this. Wallace was wandering from one island to the other, looking around, taking notes and thinking. He noticed that rhinoceroses lived on many islands of Indonesia and Malaysia. Of course, rhinos don't only live in Africa. This is the Sumatran rhinoceros and its Bornean subspecies. On the other hand, on those islands where no rhinos lived, he saw other mammals, such as a lot of marsupials. However, these animals were missing from the islands where the rhinoceroses lived. Wallace continued taking notes and thinking, and a line appeared on his map. The origin of the line goes back to the Ice Age, when the sea level could have easily been 120 meters lower. At these times, the islands with the rhinos merged with Asia, while the ones with the marsupials connected to Australia, so their respective biomes became similar. The two landmasses, however, were separated by a deep strait which the animals couldn't cross. This is how the invisible line, which now bears its discoverer's name, Wallace, appeared. <laughs>